Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, I finished watching the finale of Loki Season 2 um, just not that long ago, and <laughs> my god. At first, I... <laughs> There were moments in this episode I didn't really catch on what was going on because it's so confusing. Because, I don't know, just time, time traveling stuff can sometimes be confusing at times. So there were a couple times I got really confused, but then I caught on as, after I found out and realized what was kind of going on and realized what some certain conversations were about. Because there were some, there were conversations I did not get at first, but then I kind of understood once I saw what happened so um with that being said though this was a damn good finale holy fuck this was an amazing finale this finale was better than the last season's finale that's how far i'm going with this <laughs> and i didn't hate the the season one finale at all by no means but just this finale was just my god so this is just Five out of five, man. Five out of five episode. Last episode, too. I didn't talk about last week's episode, but yeah, last week's episode, too, was five out of five. Oh, my God. So this show in total for me is a nine out of ten. Really good. Second place when it comes to best MCU film, MCU live action project this year. Guardians 3 still wins. Uh, Loki season two comes in second place. Um, so yeah, without, without wasting more time and me rambling on what I thought was better and which I thought wasn't better, uh, let, 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 let's just dive on in. So last episode, Loki figured out how to control his time slipping since it came back after, uh, after the multiverse exploded. Um, so basically he finds out what happened. He goes back in time and he tries to stop Victor Timely from going out to fix uh, to fix the rings with all of these uh, universes coming out. And so he, he's finally able to get Victor Timely to go out there in time in order to get, get, the, get the little doohickey that, uh, that OB made to widen the rings with all these like universes that keep coming through in order for everything to still be maintained and for nothing to get destroyed and that way the tv doesn't get destroyed and and no universe dies but then they find out that they're duplicating the universes are duplicating even after they they're able to widen the rings and more universes are able to come in they find out that a bunch of universes are now duplicating and they're scaling which still causes which still causes the universe to explode the multiverse to explode and that causes Loki to go even further back in time. And he thinks, okay, I need to go back in time. So why not go back to how this all started with Sylvie killing the He Who Remains variant of Kang. So he goes back in time, tries to stop it, but he keeps failing. And, and then eventually he's able to get He Who Remains his attention. They have a little conversation. And He Who Remains just tells him that he can't. He can't do anything it's destined to happen and it has a and that the, the the rings the um that the rings where all the universes come through have a fail safe to where to where it has to where it does destroy every universe that shouldn't be there basically which loki doesn't want he, he wants he doesn't want any universes to want he doesn't want any more universes to be destroyed so then what happens is Loki is able to have, just have a conversation with him. He remains, tells him that, but then he remains, tells him that if you really want to prevent all of this, you have to kill Sylvie. It's so we think, so I actually thought for a minute, he was actually going to pull the trigger. I thought the team working on Loki, I thought they were all going to pull the trigger and be like, yeah, we're going to have Loki kill Sylvie because like, I thought they were going to do it, but they actually didn't. And as Loki tells Sylvie in, um, as to, to where we kind of left off in the last episode with all of time being erased and everything, every turning, everything turned into spaghetti um, or whatever the hell it's called, um, Loki's able to stop it and he tells Sylvie, 
hey, I need to, I need to do something that I can't do in order to, uh, to do this. But before he does that, I'm, I'm fuck, I forgot. Before he does that, he goes and talks to Mobius um, in the past to, in the past, when they first met, when Mobius is interviewing Loki and um, and questioning him, uh, Loki tells Mobius what's going on, and Mobius knows that yeah, no, like this is for real, like something is going on here. Like this is like this. Some, Loki's acting a little weird. So Loki then Loki then explains what Mobius is about to do. So then Mobius believes Loki, and uh, they have a little talk when it comes to having hard decisions and. Um, Mobius just tells him that he he has to do what he has to do in order to protect everything. So then um, Loki shakes Mobius' hand, and after having that discussion, he goes he goes to Sylvie, which is where I was going to get to before I remembered that that happened first. Um, goes back to where I was talking about. Loki meets up with Sylvie, and uh, in the last episode when everything is going, uh, everything's turning into uh, spaghetti. Um, or, or whatever that's called. I keep I keep forgetting what that's called. But if there's another word for that, please let me know. Um, so he does that. They have a they have a talk, um, and he and Sylvie basically finds out that she can't kill he who remains in order to keep every all these other universes safe. So so then she finds she understands that Loki has to kill her. So. That happens, and then Sylvie's just gonna have to say, "Well, you're gonna have to try really hard to kill me." But then she says, "She says something," and Loki immediately is like, "If, if that were to happen." So then Loki then decides to, you know what? Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. And so then he goes back to the present of, uh, of all the the rings, squid like being too small, and the universe is on the verge of destroying being destroyed and the TVA and the multiverse being destroyed. He goes back to that moment and he, un he understands and he, he tries this out. I should say he goes out there to, um, he goes out there to widen the rings. And as he's doing it, he's aging the time he's being hit with time and he gets hit. He gets hit with this so much. He turns back into a little kid and then he turns back. He turns into the God of mischief. Um, with uh, with with the iconic um, helmet that we see him wear, in uh, that we've seen him wear, um, in a bunch of, in almost all of the Phase One movies, all the almost every, every time we see him in a Phase One film, so he wear that he wore that helmet again, except it was black, and he widens the rings, but 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 they get destroyed, and all the universes are just dying. So, so then what Loki does, and I didn't know what he was doing at first, but then he grabs every single universe that's now one small little line that's floating in front of him. He grabs every single one of them, and the door opens to where the, the castle of He Who Remains was. And so he takes all of them, climbs up there, sits down on the throne, and he's able to get the entire multiverse back together. There's still, there's still other universes out there, but they're all, but they're, they're safe and they're not destroyed. And so then right when he does that, um, everyone's lives in the TVA goes back to normal. Um, Mobius and Hunter B-15 remember what happened. I don't think no one else did remember aside from them, OB, Casey, and Sylvie, who we find out, um, who we find out is uh, just... Doing her, doing her own thing. She's not really doing that much. So, so yeah, uh, that that happened, and um, and uh, and uh, literally before um, the episode ends, there are a few things that happen before this episode ends. Uh, one of them being um, Mobius explains that uh, there there's a variant of he who remains in Earth six one six, the main mar the main universe. And, uh, and he, and they mentioned that, and he mentions that, yeah, it's already been taken care of. So they literally just say that, yeah, uh, yeah, the heroes over there, Ant-Man, the Wasp and Ant-Man, the Wasp's daughter all took care of Kang when they were trapped in the quantum realm. Then they didn't go that far in depth into it, but 
they're that's that's what they're telling us of what happened. So that so they're they're so Ant Man the Wasp Quantumania had has a small part to play in this show. <laughs> uh, so that that was pretty that that was pretty cool. I'll admit, even though Quantumania was did was horrible at the box office and it flopped hard. Um, I thought it was okay. There were cool scenes in it. Jonathan Majors is king in that film. I will keep saying it again. Jonathan Majors is king in Quantumania. Oh, amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's after that. Um, Mobius goes and visits his home um, to where we find out he, in the last episode he was a dad of two. He was single. Uh, he goes to visit there. Sylvie visits him, uh, wanting to know what he's going to do. Uh, he's just going to let time kind of pass on by. And Sylvie just kind of says her goodbye to him and walks away. Uh, th then we find Renslayer. She uh, she's in the uh, she's in the place where uh, <laughs> she she's in the place where um, when you when you get pruned, you 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 get sent to to that place uh, that we see in the first season. Uh, she's there. She wakes up. She finds herself there. And uh, and uh, that that scene ends with uh, with Eliath from the last season, who uh, we don't see, but we hear him, like hear him kind of roaring, and we see a bunch of purple like coming closer and closer to Renslayer, which is saying, "Oh, yep, she's gonna," which kind of tells you that, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna get uh, eaten up real good by him, <laughs> and she most likely did. Um, but then uh, Ob, he's he's doing his own thing. He gets new. We get we see new TVA handbooks, but but they're yellow this time. And I was like, I was like, oh, they're yellow. So what what did Loki do? What 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 new changes did Loki make when it came to the rules, <laughs> or just when it came to like certain devices? Because who knows? We may see more devices and like from the TVA when it comes to films and shows that they could appear in, like Deadpool three, for example. We could see stuff like that. Um, so that happens. Uh, then the then the episode. This episode and pretty much the whole show ends with Loki um, sitting in the throne of where he who remains, the Kangarian of he who remains, used to sit in, and he's controlling all of the timelines and he's watching over them, keeping them safe. Even though the TVA, they're going to be doing most of the work. He's just watching everything, keeping all the keeping every universe intact, not making sure they they're not destroyed. But um, but yeah, he yeah. The episode ends with him kind of looking on what's going on, and him look him just smiling there, sitting there, happy about what's going on. Happy everyone at the TVA is living the life, uh, just ha having a good time, basically. I meant to say, but um, yeah, that was the episode again. Five out of five episode. Um, this season was far. This season was a lot better, in my opinion, than the first season. I know a lot of people really like the first season. I thought the first season was was good it was the first season was kind of mid but it had some really cool really cool great moments in it from time to time um this season though was just absolutely amazing i oh my goodness not a 10 this isn't a 10 out of 10 show like the second season isn't a 10 out of 10 like the only episode i had a problem with was the third episode and it was not because of victor timely but it's just because of sylvie being shoved in there like there was no reason for her to get shoved in there i know she wants i know she wanted revenge but it's like what what how how did she know what was even going on like that's that's that that was never really explained like how she knew what was going on and you're just, yeah she her being shoved in there was just kind of felt like just shoved like she like they had to put her in there or something like that so so yeah the third episode of this of this season was probably my least favorite even though it was still really good and really enjoyable I did I only had one issue with it and it was Sylvie being she kind of shoved in there uh, so yeah. Uh, other than that, other than that, though, amazing season. Um, really interested to see what we're gonna see from Loki next, and especially like when it comes to his role um, when we when we see him again. If if we're gonna see him again in Deadpool three, which I wouldn't be surprised, but at the same time, though, I mean, I feel like it would be a smart move, and it would make sense to save Loki. Us seeing Loki again since avengers the kang dynasty um since that's when all the kang variant that's when hell's really gonna break loose uh so with all the kang variants um, and that's when loki's gonna probably show himself and he and thor are gonna have that reunion um may uh, we'll we'll see what happens but uh but yeah um again amazing episode um they're interested again interested on in seeing what they're gonna do with loki next 
um, when it comes to the next time we see him, which most likely the next time we're going to see him, which I hope it is, we see him in Kang Dynasty. Um, again, like, like, like I just said, so we can see that reunion between him and Thor. Uh, so, um, so yeah, um, that, that's, that's all I got to say about this, though. Again, yeah, amazing episode. I know I keep saying it, but this was an amazing episode. So in the meantime, though, post comments down below, though. Let me know you guys think about this. Uh, did you like this uh, final episode of uh, Loki Season 2, or did you not like it that much? Uh, what do you think is going to happen with Loki next? Uh, do you think we're going to see him before uh, Avengers Kang Dynasty releases or not? Or do you think that the next time we will see him will be in Kang Dynasty? Uh, do let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, um, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of Marvel or a fan of Loki specifically, then you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also, move over on Twitter, Vero, and Threads. I will be posting the links to all of those three in the descriptions down below. So yeah, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye!